Over the past couple of months, we've seen major improvements in how AI builds applications, especially full-stack apps. But there's still one big issue. We often end up with UI or UX problems. Either the design looks outdated or the components generated by AI don't actually work well. I got a solution to this and that's why today we're going to be talking about how we can combine two powerful tools to fix this problem with Ready.ai and Cursor. Ready Ready.ai just launched and it's completely redefining how you build front ends and websites. You don't need to use any sort of drag and drop builder, just simply talk to the AI, describe what you want with natural language and you will be able to get beautiful front end outputs within a couple of minutes, which is just insane. You can preview, publish instantly or export as clean code. It's fast, functional and modern, basically the easiest way to build your dream UI 10 times faster. Then we bring in Cursor, our AI coding powerhouse. Once we have the front end generated by Ready.ai, Cursor takes care of the back end, which is going to handle the database, API, as well as the logic, then connect everything together to make it into a full stack application. This combo gives you a great looking UI with functional capabilities and it's something that will help you build anything within a few minutes. Before we get started, let me quickly showcase how easy easy it is for anyone to build full stack applications. Today we are building a complete SaaS homepage. I'm talking hero section, pricing tiers, contact forms, the whole nine yards. Something that would normally take you a full weekend. But watch this, we're going to go from zero to deployed in under 20 minutes. So let's get started. I'll use the link in the description below and once you are here, click on get started. You can easily create an account completely for free with Google or by providing your email address. For your information guys you get 200 free credits with ready.ai to start with so you can really test this out properly. Now let's go ahead and create our project. In this case what I'm going to be doing is creating a SaaS landing page for a project management tool. Let's call it Productivity Pro. Now with ready.ai you have two options. You can develop for desktop or even mobile so it gives you a lot of flexibility. You can actually select different types from React all the way to HTML. For my case, I'm going to be using React and we are going to go ahead and click create. Within this tab, you simply just describe what you want to create as a prompt and it will be then sent over to the AI agents to go ahead and fully code it out. Here's my prompt. Create a modern SaaS landing page for Productivity Pro, a project management tool. Include the hero set section with sign up CTA, three column feature section showcasing key benefits, pricing with three tiers, starter, pro and enterprise, testimonial section and the contact form. Use a professional blue and white design with gradients and modern styling. We can go ahead and then send in this prompt and you'll see how quick ready AI is in terms of taking this prompt and creating a plan for it. So right now it is working on creating the layout structure, color, style that it will use and then afterwards it's going to feed it to the AI agents to go ahead and generate it. You can actually see what it's going to be doing before it generates the code for it. Let's go ahead and click generate so that it can then work on creating the code for it. Now what I really like about Ready AI is that you'll get a live visualization of what is happening. So you get to see what is being edited and what is being generated. And wow, it was actually able to generate it pretty quickly. This is a beautiful front end for our SaaS website and you can see how amazing it actually looks. Look at this, we've got a complete hero section with gradients, feature cards that are perfectly laid out, pricing tiers with hover events, this isn't just a prototype, this is clean production ready code. Now within this you can see that you can iterate on multiple versions. Let's say I want to make some adjustments, I can click on the selector tab and actually select different components that I can fix. For example, let me add could you please make the call to action buttons more prominent with better contrast and you can see right away it made that edit for us. What's also great is that you have image capabilities so you can select and replace images, remove backgrounds or even generate new ones. Why I really like this tool is because you can customize so many different types of things. For example say if we want to change the theme you can go into the chat interface and you can say change the color scheme to a 
a darker theme. And it will go ahead and autonomously do this for us. Look at that, the entire color scheme just updated. We actually have the front end of our SAS website. But say if we want to actually generate other pages, how do we do that? Well, it's by simply just clicking on something and you can see that it will request you to continue to generate. You can click on it and then it's going to go ahead and use its thinking as well as playing to generate the next portion. And just look at that. We now have multiple different pages and all of this was generated from just simply clicking and generating the website. This is how amazing this tool is because you can easily go ahead and create a full website within a few minutes. Something cool that you can also add is that you can request complex things like headline text uses a staggered fade up animation. The main CTA button should pulse subtly to draw attention. Implement a smooth slide in from the left for the hero image. The background features a dynamic gradient animation. On hover, the service cards should have a slight pop and shadow transform. A subtle parallax scroll effect for the background illustration. And this way it's going to look a little bit more slicker and it's going to add more animations to make this website even more modern and intuitive. Now before we deploy this, I want to talk about why this integration between Ready AI and Cursor is so powerful, especially for non-technical people. You see, traditionally, if you wanted to build a complete application like this, you'd need to master front-end frameworks, back-end development, database management, deployment processes, that's months or even years of learning for most people. It's a huge barrier that stops great idea from ever becoming reality. But this workflow changes everything. Ready AI handles all the visual design and front-end complexity using just natural language. No need to understand React components or CSS frameworks. Then Cursor takes care of all the technical backend implementation, APIs, databases, authentication, stuff that would normally require deep programming language. This means entrepreneurs, designers, marketers, or really anyone with project idea can now build and deploy professional grade applications without needing a computer science degree. The integration bridges that gap between having an idea and actually shipping a working product. That's what makes this combo so revolutionary. Now the next part is where we focus on creating the full stack application component. What you can actually do is you can obviously share this as a link so other people can go ahead and view how it looks, but you can also view the code. This is a way for you to easily go ahead and copy it or you can go ahead and download it. In this case, make sure you go ahead and download it because you're going to be processing it through cursor. Ready.ai also has a custom domain feature. So what you can do is click on publish and you can connect your domain. This is going to give you a lot of flexibility to set up your DNS for your domain and deploy everything that is necessary to have this fully functional on the web. Now the next step is to work on creating the backend and this is where cursor comes in. Once you have cursor installed what you can do is go over to file and then upload the folder that you just downloaded from ready AI. So you can see I have now pasted this into cursor and now what I'm going to do is write this prompt where I tell you that I created the front end with ready AI and now I want to add a complete backend. Here is my prompt. I created this front end with ready AI and now I need a Node.js Express backend. Please create API endpoints for contact form submissions with email validation, user registration, authentication, and pricing data management. Set up proper middleware, error handling, and connect the front end forms to actually work with these endpoints. Also, integrate with a database for storing user data and form submissions. And you can see that right now it is running by itself. Now it's actually adding all the backend functionality, creating express routes, setting up database connections, adding authentication. You can see all the changes as well as all the different components being generated. And you will be able to see all of them within our folder. This is where cursor becomes really helpful because it can by itself create everything and make the whole backend functional too. And there we go. We now have a fully functional full stack application. We actually have a working contact form, user authentication system and proper API endpoints. Let me test this contact form. Perfect. If I check the network tab, you can see the post request going to our backend with a successful response. Now remember guys, the frontend design was generated completely with ready AI and the backend functionality was created with cursor and we got 
all of this working in under 20 minutes. But that's basically the gist for today's video on Ready AI and Cursor. This is the fastest way to build modern, beautiful, full stack applications using just prompts. No complex setup required, you just simply describe your idea and you saw how I was able to create that complete SaaS website with working functionality. So definitely check out Ready AI, links in the description below. You get 200 free credits to start with so you can really test this workflow out. What kind of projects would you build with this setup? Drop your ideas in the comments. I'm genuinely curious what you guys would create. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep building, keep shipping and remember the best code is the code that actually gets deployed.